Morning, everybody, and welcome to the Winnipeg Jets Morning State Skate uh, Media Availabilities for Thursday, January 14th. Uh, we're going to get started here with Jets forward Trevor Lewis. Anyone with questions for Trevor, please use the raise hand function now, and I'll create a queue. As a reminder, uh, one question each, and if we have time at the end, uh, you can ask another one. Uh, we'll get started with Ted Wyman from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Ted. Thanks, Gregor. Good morning, Trevor. Uh, you go through a training camp here on the PTO and then finally signed that contract yesterday. Can you just tell us how you feel the camp went and uh, and what you're looking forward to here as the season gets underway. Yeah, I mean, I uh, felt like I had a great camp, you know. Um, I put on a lot of hard work this off season, and obviously it was a little longer than usual, so the body got some rest. And uh, I felt great coming in, and I knew it was a good opportunity. So, um, I'm happy I jumped on it and I'm happy to be here for sure. We'll go next to Kelly Moore from CJOB. Go ahead, Kelly. Thanks, Gregor. Uh, congratulations on the deal, Trevor. Um, just uh, wondering in the years that you spent in Los Angeles and maybe even uh, when you were uh, just starting professionally in Manchester as well, is there ever an opening night that sticks out in your mind uh, in your career that uh, you might use to you know feel very good and very positive going into tonight um i mean it's the first time i played for a new team and or new organization in quite some time so uh you know i i think um just looking back maybe maybe one of my first home openers you know it's um it's always exciting and you know after such a long layoff um i think everyone's gonna be ready to go and um, it's definitely an exciting time, especially in this division. We'll go next to Mike McIntyre from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Mike. Hi, Trevor. Congrats on the deal. Um, just looking back at, at last season for you, you, your last game that you played was March 11th against the Ottawa Senators. I don't know how much you remember of that night. Uh, I see you scored. And that obviously ended up being the end of your season. Uh, that's just over 10 months ago. Can you just maybe describe uh, the, lo the long wait between meaningful games here and, and uh, how that's kind of fed into your hunger. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, like you said, it's been, uh, it's been quite a while, but, um, you know, it took a, took a couple of weeks off at the beginning and didn't really know what uh, the plan was. So, uh, I kind of stayed ready and um, obviously gave, gave guys a, a good chance to train and um, get your bodies healed up and, and stronger. And um, it's definitely been the longest I've been without playing. So I'm definitely excited to get it going and uh, I'm excited to be part of the group here. Go next to uh, Jeff Hamilton from the Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Trevor, congrats on the, on the deal. Obviously spent a lot of time in Los Angeles. And as you mentioned, new surroundings. A lot of people say, you know, sometimes new scenery can add that, you know, extra energy or, or whatever, a clean slate, if you will. Just wanted to see in your time here in Winnipeg. Obviously, you're on a professional trial, but it's your chance to kind of see the organization as well. What's stuck out to you here uh, since arriving in Winnipeg? Uh, I mean, it's, it's definitely a first-class organization. I mean, um, from the moment, moment I uh, signed, you know, everyone's was on the ball and, and helped me out with whatever I needed. And, um, you know, it's, it's a little, uh, you're a little nervous coming in. You don't know what to expect and uh, don't know many of the guys. But um, from day one, I got here, you know, whatever I needed, uh, someone was helping me out and all the guys and staff and coaches have been very welcoming and, and helping out with, uh, you know, practices and new system and, anything, anything I really needed. So, um, you know, right from right off the bat, it's been, uh, it's been top notch and um, couldn't be happy with it. We'll go next to Paul Friesen from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Paul. Thanks, Gregor. Uh, you haven't been here long, obviously, but uh, what, what sense do you get about what this season is all about for this team? Uh, I mean, I, I feel the group's very hungry and, um expect big things in 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 here and um you know we've got a great group of a uh, great mix of everything too so um great lineup um from top to bottom and um you know definitely with this division and this season it's 
Um, you want to get off to a good start and obviously play the same teams quite a bit. So you're going to get to know uh, opponents pretty quick and um, it should be, should be fun and exciting for sure. Go next to Ken Weeb from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Ken. Thanks, Gregor. Um, good morning, Trevor. Having seen the Flames quite regularly in the Pacific Division, uh, what are you expecting from them tonight? Yeah, I mean, they've, they're they a good hockey team, and the additions they've made, uh, uh, they should be good. So, um, you know, I played them quite a bit uh, in L.A. there, and um, they got some good skill and definitely a good power play. And um, with the new goalie that they got back there, the, he's probably uh, a big part of their team. So we got to just uh, focus on our game and, um, you know, come out hard right off the bat and go from there. And just time for a couple more. Uh, go ahead, Kelly Moore from CJOB. Yeah, just to follow up, Trevor, on what you just said there about come out uh, and going hard. Uh, uh, with as much time off as there has been, it'll be interesting to see what kind of level the teams play at. But I would suspect there's automatic urgency because of uh, the situation this year with the 56 games and all in the same division. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, you want to get off to a good start, that's for sure. You can't get... Uh, too much in the hole or it's going to be tough to, to make up ground. So um, I think right from puck drop, everyone's going to be fired up. Everyone's going to be ready and, um, you know, everyone's going to be hungry. So it should be a, a fun game. And last one, uh, Jeff Hamilton from the Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Trevor, I mean, obviously getting that contract was the number one priority for when you first got here, but I imagine there's a little bit of a to-do list now that you've, uh, you've, you've, you cleared that obstacle. What's what's in store now? What do you got to get done as far as life so you can get comfortable here in Winnipeg? Uh, well, first thing, get the family up here. Um, they'll probably have to do the the quarantine process, so kind of want to get them up here as soon as possible, so I can see them again. But um, you know, just find a place and, um, like I said, an organization. They've got they got so many people helping you out that uh, kind of makes my life a little easier, so I can can focus on hockey. Awesome. Thanks very much, Trevor. Thank you. And uh, Jets defenseman Josh Morrissey will be up shortly. Thank you.